Welcome to Sports Stadium. Let's join our commentator, George Hamilton, with Johnny Giles. And welcome to Hillsborough. The sun has come out to greet you, and referee Ray Lewis is indicating to the teams that uh, they will be playing in the directions in which they're set at the moment. But Liverpool, the sensational news we found when they arrived here was that Alan Hansen will be in the side for his very first appearance of the season. He hasn't played at all since going on a pre-season trip to Spain. That's because of an injury. The captain's armband remains with Ronnie Whelan. But the return of Hansen, the only change in a Liverpool lineup that uh, beat Millwall on Tuesday night. Brian Clough departs the tunnel to the special enclosure for him, which is just behind the trainer's benches. Brian Clough's team, very much the team that's done him proud so far and won the Littlewoods Cup for him on Sunday. 20 goal Nigel Clough, his son, five goals in four games, leads their attack. And the match is on with Liverpool in red, playing from left to right in the sunshine at Hillsborough. Forrest in their change strip of all white. And the first free kick of the afternoon is to Liverpool, given against the Forest captain, Stuart Pearce. Of course, here a year ago, Liverpool beat Nottingham Forest, but Forest, a different team since then, and have matured considerably. But have they matured enough? That's gone straight to Beardsley. Pierce has gone in hard and hooked away by Clough. And a first touch of the ball to Alan Hansen. And a great cheer and ovation from the Liverpool fans as he lays it off to Ablett. One back by Nigel Clough. Ablett caught in possession. Chapman on a run through the middle. And back to cover Steve Staunton. One of four Liverpool players in Jack Charlton's Republic of Ireland squad. But it was Gary Ablett who caused the problem for Liverpool in the first place, being dispossessed by Nigel Clough, and it's presented Nottingham Forest with the corner, which will be taken by Tommy Gaynor. Hodge back to Gaynor, and another corner. And a brisk opening this to this FA Cup semi-final. Forest with whatever breeze there is at Hillsborough blowing in behind them. Gaynor again. Too high for Wilson. Webb beaten there by Aldridge. And now it's Gaynor once more. Helped out by Laws. Laws against Staunton. And it's Ray Houghton who's back to do the tidying up. And finally, back to Bruce Gravelon. It gives us a chance to hear for the first time from, from John Giles on the Hanson situation and the prospects of the afternoon. Well, a very a key figure for Liverpool today, him and Ablett. Ablett, I always suspect his temperament in the big matches, and it's a big gamble by Kenny Dalglish, I should imagine, to pay Alan Hansen. He's a great player, probably the best central defender in the country when he's fit, but it's his first game of the season in such an important match, and I hope it comes good for him, because he's, he deserves to do well. It was his ball, of course, that released Steve McMahon there. McMahon eventually fouling Stuart Pearce, and a free kick to Nottingham Forest. Saying Forrest to change teams since last year when they lost. The new right back, Brian Laws, taking over for Steve Chetton left off. See if he can do any better against John Barnes. Steve Hodges rejoined them from Tottenham Hotspur. Of course, Tommy Gaynor's in the side now. Nine goals in 19 appearances for Forrest this season. And Gary Parker is established on the left side of midfield. And he, of course, got the crucial goal at Old Trafford in the quarterfinal. And that was him on the ball. Lee Chapman, beaten by Nickel, and out it goes for the throw to Nottingham Forest. Clough. Again, good vision from Nigel Clough, and a good first-time ball from Brian Laws, but not quite precisely measured to Neil Webb. And safety with Robillard. Nigel Clough, such an important figure in this Nottingham Forest team. Two of the goals that won them the Littlewoods Cup on Sunday. Hodge hard in on Barnes. Of Whelan. Houghton's gone on the run. Lovely hanging ball from Ronnie Whelan. Terry Wilson getting it away and doing well. Gaynor. Neil Webb. Club. Hodge. Lovely football from Nottingham Forest. Stuart Pierce. Not quite the ball to finish it off. Hodge going in on Whelan and winning it. And Hodge again. Try to find Gaynor. But Forrest showing great determination in the middle of the field. Trying to hustle Liverpool off their measured stride. John Barnes. Oh, lovely play by Barnes. And 
Pierce got the header in, but Orich was offside. Well, it looked like uh, when Liverpool have the ball at the back, it's Stanton and Ablett and Hansen when it gets it. Forrest are going to let them have it and uh, come out, build it up from the back. And I think that's a mistake. I think if you give Liverpool that much room, they will take advantage of it and get the likes of Barnes in possession. So I think if you know, if you, if you watch here and start and then get the ball, they've got plenty of time at the back to use it because Forrest are laying off them. They drop them back to the halfway line, they're giving Liverpool plenty of space. Interesting that the crowd has uh, spilled over onto the perimeter there. This is a match, of course, that everybody, but everybody wanted to see. And the police have taken the decision that they've got to open the gates to ease the crush. At the other end, it's McMahon against Walker. And the Forest defender gives away the corner. And that's how Ray Lewis saw it. It may not have been how there's Walker saw it, but the man in black is the man who counts. I think that was a perfect example of what I was talking about. Hansen got on the ball and what's, what's happening in Liverpool. Mid midfield players are making the break. And I think Laura, uh, Forrest shouldn't do this. They shouldn't give them that much room at the back because they've got too many good players who can use it too well. There's the corner and the crossbar saving Nottingham Forest for Peter Beardsley's shot. Whistle's gone for a free kick, but Peter Beardsley coming so close to scoring the first goal in the cup against Steve Sutton. Nobody picked Beardsley up, but what a super volley. Keeper stranded and the crossbar to the rescue. Chapman now for Forrest. Gaynor on the overlap. Ball is out, said the linesman. Roll to Liverpool. And the police are on the pitch to tell the referee to stop the proceedings because the, uh, there is danger here that the crowd is going to encroach upon the pitch because of overcrowding at the back of the goal and the referee is taking the players off the field so this FA Cup semi-final has been interrupted after six minutes because of uh, crowd problems here capacity of Hillsborough 54,101 and it would appear that too many of them are on that terrace behind Bruce Grobelar's goal and Ray Lewis the referee is doing the sensible thing in taking the players away off the pitch until the South Yorkshire constabulary sort out the problem Dozens of soccer fans have been injured and it's feared some killed when they were crushed by overcrowding at the FA Cup semi-final match between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest this afternoon at Hillsborough in Sheffield. It appears that non-ticket holders were able to get in together with legitimate ticket holders at the Liverpool end of the field. Advertising hoardings were used to take away the injured. More details in our 5 o'clock news on ITV.